review is of Sheila G's Chocolate Brown Almond Brownie Brittle. Now, as always, I'm going to say it's not a brittle. Brittle is for candy. This is a cookie. And it's not really a brownie cookie either. Not a hard one, not a soft one. It's a cookie cookie. Uh, okay, so this is uh, parv. So that's okay for Jews and Muslims to eat. Um, and they do donate to Cookies for Kids Cancer. Here's the uh, ingredients. And here are the nutrition facts. Now, one thing that I find a little bit vexing with this one was it's not, not obvious to see on most packaging where the expiration date is. It's supposed to be right here. That's what that spot there is for. I know that because I actually found it once on one package. But usually, it'll be up here on her picture. And it's not easy to read it sometimes because it, you know, it's over her head there. So it's a kind of challenge to read the exact date sometimes, or sometimes even the month is obscured by her head. So Sheila, you know, you might want to ask them to correct that. <laughs> um, yeah, so this does have eggs, milk, soy, tree nuts, and wheat. And I'm hoping this is one of the good ones because some of them are good, some of them are not so good. It smells kind of chocolatey. Um, let me get some lactase or for to prevent misery. Where is it? Hmm. All right. Well, I don't see where it is right this minute. It must be in the other room. So, I'm gonna pull one out. Now it does have the kind of low gloss um, topping that you see on <coughs> some brownies, which I did not see on the other kinds of cookies that they make. And you can see the little pieces of almonds and the chocolate on there. Very crunchy. Not very chocolatey. I don't notice the almonds. For some reason, um, oh, 14 grams of sugar. <laughs> no wonder. Yeah, it's a fairly sweet one. Um, It's okay. <clears throat> Definitely not the worst one that I've tried from them. I would actually consider buying this one again. Although... It's not my favorite. My favorite one was the regular chocolate chip one, surprisingly. Um, for, for you, maybe. Well, for me, it's not surprising because I find that double chocolate chip recipes generally are disappointing. And triple chocolate recipes have white chocolate, which isn't chocolate, so that's also disappointing. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.